question five in this exercise that we're looking at, exercise 70. We'll look at questions five and six and start you off on them. Which brings us to one of the aims of today, really, as a reminder of these aims, actually, area and volume of shapes, solids, which is what we're after. I'm going to be thinking at the end about setting it out, the formula, units and accuracy. So that's the sort of focus. And if we look at number five, I think the setting out bit comes in, because draw it, okay? So, always recommend this, particularly when the problem gets complicated. You've got lots of information here in words. And you can um, put that onto a drawing. So I know the overall dimensions of the garden are 40 by 15. And I know a one metre flower bed is made around the two shorter sides and the long one side. So, in other words, it looks like this. Where that's one metre. And that's one metre. So we've got one metre um, flower bed. And then you put a swimming pool of eight metres in the middle, so it's a rather nice garden. So there's a swimming pool in it. What we're after is the area of what's left of the land, this bit. So it's a case of just deciding how we're going to divide up each of these set, these bits. Might decide to cut it here and here, so we find the area of those bits, and then the area of the swimming pool, and subtract them. So that's number five. It's just a case of grinding it through and trying not to make any mistakes. Number six, though, is a little bit more to number six. Again, draw it. You've got a trapezium. So I don't know what shape my final trapezium is going to look like, but let's draw it like this. Um, and I know the area is 13.5 square centimetres. I also know that the perpendicular distance between its parallel sides, these are the parallel sides, is three centimetres. So if I were to just put this dotted line in here, I know this dimension here is three centimetres. And if the length of one of the parallel sides is 5.6, find the length of the other. Well, I don't know whether or not I'm going to end up with this side or this side, so I just call it one of them 5.6. So I've drawn it, and then I need the formula. So thinking about the problem, I set out the problem, put on the information, and then I look for relevant formula. And the formula for the area of a trapezium is a half A plus B times the perpendicular height. Well, I know the perpendicular height. A and B are the two sides, so, so this is A. And this is B, so I'm actually after B. And now there's two ways to proceed. One is plug in the numbers that I know, which will end up with a little equation. So in other words, I rewrite this formula, but I put in the numbers. The area is 13.5. A half times... A plus B. Well, A is 5.6 plus B. That's what I'm after. So let's just call that X times the height, which is 3. So I've got a little equation to solve. 13.5 is a half brackets 5.6 plus X times 3. It's a case of solving this equation. but it's And that's like rearranging the formula. I've got to get rid of each bit on the right-hand side till I'm left with x. What might you do first? I'd be tempted to try and get rid of that half. How would I do that? Uh, well, no. The, remember we were talking at the beginning about half being the same as divide by 2. So how do I get rid of divide by 2? times by 2, multiply both sides by 2. 70, which is twice, what am I saying, it's not 35, it's 13.5. 27, which is twice 13 and a half, 
equals 5.6 plus x all times by 3. All times by 3. What might I get rid of next? By dividing by 3. Okay, so I'll leave that there. You try and finish it off. If you're feeling ambitious, the other way to go about this problem is, and just have a look at this for a second, take this formula and try to rearrange it for B. I'm after B, so rearrange for B. First thing to get rid of. The half by times and by 2. 2A equals A plus B all times by H. What would I get rid of next? H by dividing both sides by H. What would I be left with on the left hand side? If I divided by H, what would I write? Right. Equals A plus B. Now what would I do to find B? Right. So finish that off. Once you've rearranged it for B, plug in the numbers. We know the area, the height, and A. Work it out. Okay? So one way is to rearrange the formula and then plug the numbers in. The other way is to put the numbers in that we know and that to form a little equation and then solve that. So not a straightforward question, this thing. Okay. Have a look at exercise 71 now, please, which is uh, a little bit more involved using some of the other formulae. So try some of these questions in here and then we'll take a break and we'll have a look at volumes of, uh, and surface areas of shape. So about 20 minutes, say, to take us to the halfway point on these questions here. So exercise 71. And I'll leave you that up there for you to have a look at.